guys, my name is Nikita Thomas and I'm going to show you guys how to integrate quills into your beadwork today. I'm going to start by picking up beads into a pattern. A red bead, a white bead, and a red bead again. Once you've picked all your beads up, you'll notice a pattern and you can start laying them out. I am using the flat stitch technique to put my beads on like I showed you in my previous tutorial. I like to run my thread back through the beads to make sure it's straight, just like this. I start cutting the tips off of the end of the quills. I like to put it in a piece of felt so the quills get stuck when I cut them off. You're going to want to do this so you don't get poked. They are very sharp, so watch out. Cut the tips off of your quills. You're going to want to measure out your quill to the size of your beadwork, just like I am in the video. I like to pick the end with the tweezers so I know where to cut the quill when it's I'm done measuring. Once you finish cutting the quill, you're going to want to place it back into your beadwork to make sure it fits properly, just like I am. Once it fits, you're ready to start sewing it on. You're going to use the same technique when you use for flat stitch beading. Up, down, and through the felt, back up behind, and through the quill. Once I've pulled my needle through the quill, I am then going to start the flat stitch technique. We are going to go down in front of the quill. and then we're going to come up behind and then we are going to go through the quill and that will be tacking down the quill. Hold it tight down so it stays in place while you're doing this. I like to use a pair of pliers to pull the needle through. Once you've done that, you've tacked down your quill and you're ready to start over again with the same pattern for the rest of your quills. Here is a small time lapse of me tacking down quills. Once you finish tacking, you're ready to start tracing and cutting out your piece of fabric you would like to use for packing. I'm choosing hide today. You're going to want to choose the side that has no pen marks on it for the best work. Once you're finished that, you, you measure it and make sure it's perfect. You're going to start by edging to keep it closed. I'm going to run my needle through the felt and through the leather, up and back through to the other side so I can add my beads. I'm going to tuck the excess string inside so it will be unnoticeable when I'm completed edging. It will get stuck inside the fabric. Now ready to pick up some beads. I chose to pick three in a metallic gold color. Once you've completed a few rows of edging, a piece of your project should be closed off. You can then add your earring piece or your brooch pin. I'm choosing a brooch pin today. We are going to mark where the pin is going to go. We are then going to poke two holes with a seam ripper, so the entry point. And then you are going to cut it so you can open it up and fit your pin through. You're just going to slide the pin into the hole that you made. It should fit. This is the piece that's going to close the pin off. You're then going to glue the back so the pin can stay in place and close off the hole that you made in the beginning. Once I flip the hide around, you can notice that there is no inseam to where I cut in the beginning. I'm going to want to let that dry for two to four hours. Once it is dry and in place, you can start completing the finishing edging to close off the project. I took a few snippets of me doing the edging in a slow motion so you could see the process. I have completed the edging process. This is the pin on a headband and then on a coat. And then the following picture is it on a purse. You can multi-change this pin into whatever you would like. It's wearable art. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Follow Imaginative, Create to Learn, and Taking It Global on Instagram and check out the hashtag Create to Learn. Thank you for watching.